Okay, well, let's hope this doesn't take too long. Yeah. Oh, there you go. What did you have for your din-dins, by the way? Oh, it was uh, shepherd's pie that I made yesterday. Oh, oh no. Right. No, what? no. Oh. Well, I mean, to be honest, I'm pretty indifferent to shepherd's pie. I like the beef. I'm not so-so on the potato. Shepherd's pie? More like, oh no, I can't, I can't, I can't even, I can't even tell the joke. I'm not doing it. No. No. What do you not like about shepherd's pie? I just, I've never liked it. I just never liked it. Ready up, by the way. Um, oh. Yeah, I just have this. I remember, like, my mum would make it like all the goddamn time, and I, I was just like, no, I, I, no, I, I hate it. I hate it. And I, I genuinely have not had shepherd's pie in. Oh my god, it must be. I'm, I'm gonna say, ten years, but it's not been that long. But yeah. Um, I mean, you're not missing out that much. Okay, the joke I was gonna make. Was shepherd's pie more like shepherd's poo? Because it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the gist of the joke. That was the, that nice. was literally it. Real nice. Um. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what we're we doing? Oh, we're like uh, protecting this guy or something. It, it looks like it. Honaker. Honaker. That sounds like a Hon Dutch Hon name. It does. Oh yeah, would you want to? I don't know what you want to do once you get to Edinburgh because I you could take the bus to this pub that's actually like five minutes from the flat, and we could just uh, chill there. I mean, actually, like I'm gonna be going to Stirling anyway with Karina first, so like I'm probably just gonna get the train at like four o'clock or some shit, and I'll just meet you for like when you're finishing work, basically. That's so cool. I should I should be like in by like half five. No, yeah, that's totally fine, bro. That's totally fine. I'll just kind of like, I'll get into Edinburgh for like five o'clock or something, and then I'll get into Edinburgh for about like five o'clock or something. I'll just kind of walk along, and I'll probably just meet you at the flat or some shit, and then cool. we'll just play video games and watch movies and shit. Sounds good. Okay, I've got aliens coming down this corridor here. I think the only real mission failure in this is if the Honaker guy dies, right? Or we all die. I would think so. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Beta! Honaker, you fucking madman, get back! I love how Honaker's going around with a fucking pistol. What are you going to do with that? Brave for a scientist. Yeah, you know, actually, I was going to say, the fact that he's actually, like, helping, that's, uh, surprising. You know, because usually the scientists in the alien movies and or the alien franchise are fucking douchebags or pussies. So, that's actually a kind of character that just exhausts me and an alien above all else. You know, the the, the, the cr smart person is also really creepy and is all like, oh, I admire the alien. No, oh, it's the next oh, step in yeah, evolution. Like, we must help it. Yeah, because that's what kind of like, obviously, um, what's his face? Uh... And the first alien was like the the, yeah, the android. Um, that's right. Yeah. Uh, Ian Holm played him. Um, yeah, that's a, that's actually. Oh. What was his mm. name? Oh, Ash. Ash, that was yeah, it. Right. Um, and then I think Bishop wasn't, but like he he still kind of like he did admit that he maybe I think he admitted that he admired it or something. Yeah, he did. He was like, oh, you know, I mean, it's bad and everything, but. They're efficient, you gotta give them that. Yeah, and they are friggin' efficient. <laughs> but, um, and then, yeah, in Alien Resurrection, I remember there's the, the scientist guy that, like, yeah, that, like, has the xenomorphs in the cages, and you're like, you're gonna die, bro, and then he died. <laughs> I don't know what annoys me so much about it. It's just, it's just exhausting. I don't know. Like, and then David from Prometheus, he's, ex well, eventually becomes exactly the same way in Alien Covenant. I'm just like, oh, I'm so done. Yeah, you're just like, oh, we don't care about this anymore. You, you, you've done this to death, you know? Yeah. Ah! But 
yeah, I've been enjoying uh, playing Black Flag again. It's a uh, it's a fun game, as you well know. Oh yes, yes. I mean, uh, obviously, I'm playing Rogue right now. So. Uh, oh yeah, of course, yeah. of course. You've actually not recorded anything in a long time. We're gonna record the legendary battles because those are always cool. Ah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the legendary battles. I might not do those in my playthrough, I'm not going to lie, because I can't be bothered with the stress. That's fair. I mean, I, I did it? try one of the one of them right now. They've done, done it very differently. Like, they're basing it on actual historical events. Oh! I... Yeah, it was like, one was like, oh, the Battle of some French Bay, 1757. Like, oh! I, had, I did not know that. It was like Black Flag was just famous ships. So you had the Queen Anne's Revenge, Letbeard ship. And I can't remember any of yours. Uh, oh, there was like, oh, uh, no, no, I'm not even going to attempt to remember. What was always so sad? What was always so sad was that his friend that you meet at the, the, the beginning of the game, Bonnet, like, it's either Steve or Steed. I can't really remember, but uh, yeah. It's really sad when you find out that he uh, that he died, that he got like executed, and you're like, God damn it! I don't know if you know who I'm talking about, oh. but yeah. Oh yeah, is the, the the blonde guy? Yeah, the kind of blonde, dorky. kind of dorky. Yeah, the dorky guy who is not a pirate. He he literally becomes a pirate. Thus, uh, you know, that's why he gets killed. But even though he's still hmm. a dork. <laughs> Man, that's uh, well, oh, that upsets me far more than the. Uh... James Kidd dying, and that was supposed to be really sad. Yeah, that was supposed to be sad, but then you're just kind of like, eh, whatever. Yep, shit happens. <laughs> See, yeah, we're pirates, come on. <laughs> That's the life we lead. It is, it's a pirate's life. Ah! How did I not see that? Am I stupid? Man, man, shut up. <laughs> See, the good thing is about this game is that they're, they are going to be... Oh, actually, do I need health? Yeah, I do need health, actually. Um, is that they're still, like, releasing stuff for it. So, like, new, you know, guns. Well, actually, don't, I don't know about guns, but certainly, like, new, um, uh, new like, kind of specialists that you can go as and all that kind of shit. And but, you know, this is uh, it's actually something that Ubisoft do quite well, the whole Uplay thing. I mean, okay took me years to finally bite the bullet and just get the damn thing. I think, I can't remember why I got it, but it's good to see, you know, some things carry over, depending on which games you have. So I downloaded Unity, because it was free, and it means I get, like, some swords, like Arno's Swords or something. Or yeah, yeah, play, it's quite good yeah. that way with the Assassin's Creed games. There's, like, a lot of, like, crossover and stuff, and same with, like, For Honor and Siege and all this kind of stuff. Like, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good that way. Yeah. I, I will, I, I will, uh, I will uh, agree to that, what you just said, like, I do agree. Um, yeah. I will say I don't think Rogue like the story is story is nothing special, but it's still it's unique. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's very unique, bro, because like it it for once is like yes, you know the assassins aren't always the fucking good guys because they yeah. aren't because in, nope, in that sure. game you're like no absolutely um I I totally side with uh Shay is his name Shay yep Shay yep yeah I I totally side with him I'm like no like yeah they were gonna potentially destroy another city like what yeah of course like yeah jesus christ I mean, I mean, our body it, count's probably higher than templars from that alone yeah exactly i mean you're saying oh, these people are fucking stupid like what, what the fuck it's, it's the guy that teaches bloody connor and um assassin's creed 3 as well he's one of them and you're like what the fuck yeah, he was so, like, I was just like, what the hell's wrong with you? Like, he's like, oh, you know, because of you, all those people are dead. And he's just like, man, shut up and do what I tell you. Yeah. So, then, yeah, for once, you were kind of like, no, yeah. Glad I'm with the Templars. I actually wouldn't mind a game, like an Assassin's Creed game. They're probably not going to do this, because they've, they've probably lost the opportunity. But, like, maybe choosing, like, a side, maybe, you know? Like, mm. I don't know. That would be but, cool. Yeah. Instead of just being like, oh, always with the assassins. Yeah, maybe even... Maybe with one where you just play as an assassin and a Templar at the same time. I don't know, you see different sides of the same events. That's, that's a... Oh, do you mean like uh, someone that plays both sides? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, that could be, yeah, that that could be interesting, actually. You know, what I mean, like that 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 definitely could be interesting. Um, there's a health kit there. Ubisoft not doing really cool ideas. Hmm. Fuck it, and Ubisoft not doing cool ideas like that. I know, I know, bro, I know, I know. I was just like someone that you know, like in Far Cry Two, you play both sides. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes. So, that's true. like, I, I admit that system wasn't perfect, but I mean, at least it was something. Yeah, um, I remember Far Cry 2, actually, it was quite funny. I know you get, like, yeah. I mean, it's a very minor thing, but you can actually get, like, loads of combinations for who becomes the leader of UFLL APR at the end. Oh, yeah. It's kind of based on which lieutenants are left. And I remember I, I played it in such a way that, like, I think I knew who was on the APR side, the UFLL guy. I was like, who the hell is this? Yeah, I don't no, remember meeting this person. Yeah, you don't. That, that, that's the thing sometimes, like, um, yeah, apparently we had to do something there and I just completely skipped it. Um, but yeah, uh, like, yeah, no, that, that, that does happen. Like, when you get to like a certain point in the game, they, they're kind of like, oh, hey, and you're like, sorry, who the fuck are you? <laughs> like, I've not worked for you before. Um, like, am I missing something or what? Yeah. There's a, lot of, oh, down, fuck sake. there's a lot of replay value with uh, Far Cry 2, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah, I'd agree, actually. I mean, Different the problem is with like Far Cry 3, it's like, oh no, I've got a big, I've got a big, uh, oh, ah, ah! I've got a big Xeno here, I need help. I am trying to get you. It's okay, it's okay. I don't know where the big Xenomorph went, I don't know if I killed it or not. Why am I so far ahead of you? I don't understand. I'm healing anyway. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! Ah! It's, it's okay, I'm here now! Oh, it's like the kind of like level boss, maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Probably. Oh! Ow. 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 I'm beta's getting fucked up right now, apparently. Get away from me! You know Tom Hiddleston is such a posh boy, he actually knows Latin. <laughs> no, that, that, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise mm -hmm. me. It's, it's like, yeah, he... that just, I just totally came out of nowhere. That's why I was laughing. Like, I was, just I think totally I was thinking about like Loki. I'm like, man, when's season two coming out? And I remembered like, there's this, he's in Pompeii and he's talking to them and it was like, I remember at the time people were like, oh yeah, Tom Hiddleston actually speaks Latin, so that's how he was so good at it. And like, of course he does. Of course he speaks Latin. <sighs> yeah. He is a bit of a posh, but I mean, he's cool, so. Yeah, yeah, no, he's a good guy. You know, people would moan in this video that, like, you know, we're not paying attention to the story, and to that I would be like, huh, what story? <laughs> oh, honestly, sometimes there's some games where people are, like, so religious about the story and everything, like, man, what, come on, it's garbage. It's exactly. Garbage. I, I, I know this is going to cause, for anyone actually that will watch this movie, movie, uh, video, this will cause a ripple, but Halo, it's the same shit in every game, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. They just kind of like change it up a little bit. So, oh yeah, the forerunners that you know are all dead. Oh yeah, they're back, and you're like, right. And I know a lot of Halo fans acknowledge that that was a stupid idea. But even in the first three oh, games, yes. it's just like it's just this. And I get that it's all about you know it's the same with like Gears of War. It's about the same. It's, it's, it's about the, the fight against you know the evil aliens and all that kind of shit. But it's like, come on, a bit of variety. You know, variety is the spice of life. You know what I mean? Like, variety, come on. yes. And you know, at the end of the day, all it changes is who you shoot at, what they look like. Exactly. But yes, I I do like the Halo games. I've not played Infinite. I've not played any Halo games since friggin' Halo Four. But um, yeah. I think that's the case for a lot of people. Halo Four was definitely people. Are like, no, I'm checking out now. Yeah. I yeah. I never played Halo Five. Um, oh, Resident Evil, perfect example of how the story doesn't bloody matter. 
What, Halo 5? No, uh, Resident Evil. Oh, Resident Evil. Oh, yeah, totally. Like, they, they, I mean, as, I've not played Village, but, you know, I've heard pretty decent things about it. I'm like, what has, to, what has this got to do with, like, the main story? What, what, like, what are they doing with the main story? It's like, it's oh, like they're, it's... they're massive spin-offs that are, like, main fucking titles, you know? I think it. Oh yeah, it's, it's sort of like the big reveal is that the guy who created the Umbrella Corporation before he, when he was a very young man, uh-huh. he actually met like the main villain of Resident Evil Eight, and he was inspired by what she, because she had already changed herself into right. like a you know, a, a monster, and he was like, oh, oh this is very interesting." She kind of taught him a few things, and she was like the foundation for his research. So like. She was the inspiration for you know the all the the viruses that create the zombies and everything. That was that was. Oh. Kind of yeah. Oh, that's quite cool, I guess. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it feels it felt natural, at least. I mean, yeah, it's it's it's, it's cool. That's it. That, that, that's cool. I'll, I'll I'll accept that. I'll definitely yeah. accept that. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm just kind of like, okay, go cool, whatever. <laughs> I was. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's, I that's how Resident Evil has gone on for so. so no, wait, yes, yes, I, I did. I did play Village. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, finish I, what you were saying there. Sorry, I I did play Village. Yeah, it was. It didn't take me long. But it was really short. It was how good, was it? But, yeah. What well, what were you saying before that though? Sorry, I I, I, uh, I interrupted well, you. I, I was just saying the reason Resident Evil is going on for so long, I think, is because they, like, you don't need to pay attention to the story because the story is garbage anyway. So like, you're not really. You're there for the scares, the gameplay and stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Resident Evil Seven was, it was a great game, but not for the story. It was great for like the character, sure, but like, it was for like the jump scares and the boss fights and you know all that kind of shit and like the, the, the kind of like the gameplay and all that kind of shit. Even even though it went far too fucking, um, shootery at the end, but still. It's like. You'll you'll see some nerds getting. I mean, I, I forgot that Netflix series does sound bad, but you see some nerds you being like, "Oh, how could they change the lore? This is not accurate." I just want to take a megaphone and be like, "Nobody gives a fuck." I mean, no. I, I mean, me personally, I don't. I know some do, which is you know fair enough, whatever. But yeah, yeah, like I, I mean, yeah, I have heard that the, the, the series is like really fucking bad. But like when it comes to like changing lore, I'm like, well, you know, Halo TV series done it and it's bad. <laughs> For the most part, you know, it's That's just true. like... Well, it's just, why did they show his face? I mean, it's just uh, a rookie mistake. Bro, let's not go down that. <laughs> let's yeah, let's not go down that avenue, because we're here all fucking day if we do. <laughs> Honestly, like... At the end of the series, sure. Once or twice, sure. But all the friggin' time, and sometimes he spends like almost whole episodes with it off. Uh, including the suit as well, he just goes about without the suit on, I'm like... What, what, what are you doing, man? Yeah. Oh, I'm done. John, John, put that back on. Yeah, you're like, John, what are you doing? That's another thing. They call him, I, I think they do call him John quite a bit. I, oh, I, yeah. I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong on that, but I think they do. Man, um, man, I know that when he's called John in the games, it's the only way to signify like really emotional moments, like people who know him really personally. Yeah, it's mostly just Cortana, I think, really, that calls him that. I don't think there's many... Call him that, like maybe like Miranda Keys. Even though I don't know if she's still even in the games. Oh wow, a lot of people died here. Ooh, per android. Yeah. Yeah, they, they even killed the android. Interesting. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, people were breeding Xenos. Oh, that's bad. Naughty, naughty. Don't they ever learn? Like, yeah, history is shown it doesn't work. Yep. You know, if I was in a, if I was in Paramount and in the boardrooms, I'd just be like, okay, so uh, Halo uh, sort of uh, was a disappointment. Let's try Gears of War this time. <laughs> I mean, that is happening. I mean, like there is going to be supposedly going to be a Gears movie. So. Ooh, good. Yeah. Okay. I could see it working as a movie. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Uh, obviously, it, it could be a series. I've, I've honestly no idea. But um, I think, as, as far as I'm aware, it's supposed to be a movie. Okay. Um, but yeah, I we guess. Just gather on the platform, apparently. 
We must gather on the platform. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't have a lot of health, but yeah. I, I guess this is the end. Right? Yeah, it looks like it seems like a trend. Oh, well, they feel like survive here or something like that, oh, even yeah, though I've got out. no friggin' ammo. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is definitely like a. We're about to. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, just refill ammo, heal up, all that bullshit. There's a health kit over here. If you need one, I'm just gonna heal up. Nice. Uh, seal H vac ducts. It's done. Have you got uh, ammo? Yeah. I do. I put down the sentry gun as well. Oh, nice. Die! Oh, a lot of zeners are gonna arrive now. A lot. Just keep your eyes peeled. Honaker, what are you doing? Honaker has a death wish, apparently. Stupid AIs. <laughs> I know. Saw a news article saying that one day they'll make AIs that can uh, make music on their own. I'm like, man, stop, stop with this dystopian shit, please. I know. It's like, do you want like, you know, like friggin' Terminator to happen, or you know, like Skynet and all these bloody futures where like, it's this, as you say, like dystopian future, like friggin' a brave new world, or. You know, 1984 or some shit, even though I don't think there's any robots in that, but, you know, you, you, you get my point. Um, oh, oh, I could just see it, like, oh, yeah, it knows the perfect sounds that the human brain loves to process. I'm like, fuck off. It's like, if you've watched Westworld, you'll know why that's a bad idea, getting yes. machines to think for themselves. Oh, isn't it hilarious how Westworld Season 1, like, everyone, including myself, went on about how good it was, and I maintain it was good, but once the rest of it came, nobody cared anymore. Yeah, like I, I know that season four is out now, and I'm, I've seen I've seen the trailer for it. I'm like, I have never been more bored by a trailer in my life. And I've seen a scene from it as well, and I was just like, and it was like um, Ed Harris talking to himself. Like, there's two versions of him, or or whatever, like a human version, or a cyborg version, I guess, or you know, android version, or whatever. I'm like, it's like this this dialogue is really well written. The trailer's really boring. Yeah, like, honestly, I was just like, this is the most boring shit ever. Like, why the fuck are they still making this series? And Brian Cranston, not Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul's in it. I'm like, what are you doing? He is? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you not know that? Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I think he's been in it since, like, I want to say season two, but it's more like season three, but he's in this season as well. I can't remember mm. what his deal is. Um, I think that, I think James Marsden's, like, in it now and again as well. I think he oh, kind yeah, of comes he, and goes he, or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, just end it, just end it, please. Like, the first season was good, I, I, I did like it, but I'm just I, like... I was, like, season one was just, I just thought, I thought it was pretty much perfect, to be honest, so, you know, some people had issues with it, I was like, nah, that, that was, uh, that was cool. Yeah, I don't know if Anthony Hopkins is still in it, I don't, I don't think he oh, is. Oh no, he died. Oh, did he die? Okay. Yeah. Um, he maybe come came back with flashbacks. I could definitely see how he could. Or an Android version of him. Oh you know? yeah, yeah, he would do that. What, what's inbound? I missed what she said. More Zenos. What? Or oh, four Zenos? More Zenos. More Zenos. Okay. I was gonna say four. That's fine. Four Zenos <laughs> is fine. But yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I need ammo. Beta, get back. God's sake. One bullet. Make it count. Oh no! Oh. I'm helping. I'm shooting it. Oh, it's almost oh. gone. Ah. Yeah, it's dead, it's dead. Die! Oh my god. We're still oh, I think coming at us. Oh. oh! Oh! 
No, no, I'm pretty far out, but I was, th I was trying to follow the objective, or maybe... It no, 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 it's okay, objective. it's okay. Oh, wow, this is, uh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, oh Beta! Beta! Ah! Okay, I got... Get the fuck oh, out of here. It's okay, I've got you, I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. Whew! That was a close one. Oh, uh, yeah. Find you. I was fine. I'll just keep running. No, I got, I got it anyway. I got it. Thank you. Running, 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 running. Nice one, bro. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ah! Oh, there's a big one. There's a big one. Oh. Oh shit. Fuck. There's like three of them. Holy shit. Throwing a grenade. Oh no! Ah! Oh god! Oh, no. Throwing a grenade! Are you dead? Oh shit, are you dead? Oh no, I don't have any health. Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> what does this mean? Ah! No! Surely not. Surely the let's play from the last objective. Oh my god! That, Surely like, not. what do we do? Like, wow! Oh, oh my god, that's brutal. That is, wow! I'm still gonna record it. I'm still gonna record it. Oh, you um, totally should. And I'll just, I'll just call it attempt two or something like that. Um, but yeah, holy shit! I'm devastated. That that never happens. No, that no. never happens. Like. <laughs> It's kind of bullshit, but yeah, whatever. Man, I feel like a I feel like a porn star that can't perform on the big shoot. <laughs> what a line to have <laughs> at the end of the fucking video! <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>